In this example, we want to find the exact value of the sine of 165. So we're going to do this problem just exactly in the same method that we did our cosine sum and difference problems uh, back in section 4.2. So we want two angles that add up or subtract to give us 165. And I'm going to pick 120 and 45. And of course, we want both of these on the unit circle. Um, you could pick something different as long as they add up or subtract to give you 165. All right, so I can rewrite this then as the sine of the sum of 120 plus 45. And now I'm ready to expand this. So notice that the um, that when you expand the sine of a plus b, well, that looks different than the cosine. So don't just think that you're going to substitute cosine um, when this was cosine sum. So that's the sine of A, cosine B, plus cosine A, sine B. This is, a, in my opinion, a little easier to get confused because uh, this first one's a sine and a cosine, and you got a first one's an A and a B. So it's easy to get those things confused. One thing I, I don't get confused is when this is a plus, this is also a plus. So I kind of like that those kind of go together. Um, but it's it's good benefit to write this out each time you use it. It just helps you, uh, helps you know it a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and expand this. So then that's going to be the sine of 120 times the cosine of 45 degrees plus uh, plus the cosine now of 120 times the sine of 45 degrees. And let's substitute stuff in. So sine of 120 square root of 3 over 2 times square root of 2 over 2 plus, and the cosine of 120 was negative 1 half times the square root of 2 over 2. So multiplying those fractions out, we get the square root of 6 all over 4. And this is a minus, so we're going to have the square root of 2 over 4. And then I'm just going to work sideways here. I'm running out of room. So I can just write this as a single fraction. The square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. And that's how we use the cosine sum identity to find exact value.